Hello everybody, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Bangkok from the show Defense and Security 2022. And we are here in our own Indian Pavilion, sitting with one of our own who is heading the delegation, which is an official delegation to the show. And he is Mr. Rajiv Prakash, Joint Secretary, Department of Defense Production. Welcome Rajiv Ji to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here and especially at the show. It speaks volumes about Indo-Thai defense cooperation. So we'd like to begin by saying that how does it feel to be at the show? I'm very happy here indeed to be here at the exhibition and indeed very happy to see such a large presence of Indian companies uh, at the India Pavilion. Uh, Excellency Ambassador was also here some time back and I have interacted with the companies and we look hope to take, uh, we are looking uh, we are hoping to take forward this uh, this uh, you know this partnership with various countries for our defense cooperation. Sir, it's actually wonderful. Thailand and India share such a great relationship, both culturally, religiously, and in the security front. So, what is uh, there about India-Thailand defense cooperation, which you know we would like to know from you, from you, as to how it's going to expand the relationship, which is already existing and already good. Yes, indeed. Uh, as you said, we do, have, we do, do go a long way back. We have. Uh, historical ties, cultural ties, and of course, more recently, defense ties with uh, Thailand. Uh, in fact, the three forces, the three wings of the forces, have uh, bilateral exercises with Thailand. We have uh, Maitri, the army does the bilateral exercise Maitri, and uh, Siam Bharat uh, by the Air Force, and uh, coordinated uh, patrolling by the Navy. And sir, uh, if we talk about uh, Indo-Thai aerospace cooperation, uh, what would that be? We've heard less about it, so we'd like to understand that. Well, um, there is huge potential for cooperation in the aero division. Um, our companies can offer uh, Donier aircraft to Thailand, which is a very robust modern platform. It can be used both for the defense forces as well as for the civilian sector, um, there's potential for cloud seed, to be used for cloud seeding by the Ministry of Agriculture in Thailand. Um, we can also offer uh, helicopters for the civilian as well as military requirements of uh, Thailand. And uh, we are looking forward to taking this ahead. You know, sir, this is a, a very major relationship on the military front we share with Thailand. And uh, what is the current status of the relationship between the armies of both the countries? Yeah, well, as I said, there is uh, bilateral exercises in the Thai army. And apart from that, in the area of uh, defense production, we have uh, this huge potential for you know, maintaining the tanks, the T-84 tanks, the systems in the tanks, the armor in the tanks. And apart from that, uh, we are looking forward to uh, supplying the army with a combat simulation center, which has been pending for some time due to COVID. Uh, we look forward to take these and other areas uh, ahead with the Thai army. And sir, what are the other kinds of cooperations between the two nations? Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, we do have frequent exchange of uh, visits, exchange visits of officers. Thai officers uh, coming to India and Indian officers visiting, visiting Thailand, uh, meetings and discussions. And it's significant at this time there is also training, exchange of training. And five officers, Indian officers, will be going to Thailand uh, for the next session for training. Right, sir, thank you very much. It was wonderful to have you at ADU's chat room. Looking forward to getting more on under Thai defense cooperation and relationship as and when the things proceed. And uh, sir, most welcome to our chat room. It's a pleasure to have had you.